<clears throat> all right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah HaKadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect, to the house of David. Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, Barak Thumb, to your brothers pushing this truth out the four, four corners of the earth in sincerity and the truth to help seal the elect of Yahabashim Yahweh Shai. You know, because it's all it's all about the elect, you know. Yahabashim Yahweh Shai is only coming to reserve and to, to, to gather to save his elect, you know. But um <clears throat> you know, uh some was put on my spirit, you know, to go into um Basically, uh, those who receive that mark, you know, um, they are committing an abomination to Yahweh Shah as well, you know, not just not in the sense of eating unclean food, you know, but in the sense of um, worshiping idols, man, in the sense of idolatry, in a sense of uh. Uh, um, immoral acts, you know, you know, in in a sense of basically going back to the breaking the first commandment, not worshiping Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, you know, putting other gods before Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, and 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 signing you and, and committing your, I'm gonna say your allegiance to this damn devil, you know, Esau Edom, you know. So this is um this is the book of Proverbs eight and six for so like you hear for I will speak excellent uh, I will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right. So we 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 want to speak one hundred percent truth, man. You know, we want to speak one hundred percent truth. You know, it said for my mouth shall speak truth. Anything of a lie is not of the truth. You know, it said, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Verse eight, and I'm going to jump back up to seven. It said, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. And when GMS Great Millstone tell you that a the mark of the beast is is the MOTB is that damn uh C hook man you know it is the chip you know I mean hey it is what it is man it is of the truth you know it is of the truth man with all the information coming out and if you can't see and line it up line up everything that's going on with what the scripture saying and you have not the spirit of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. You know? Verse 7 again, it said, For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. See, I'm going to go into that word abomination. <clears throat> abomination. This is the word for abomination. Strong's H, 8441. To'eva. To'eva. And when you go into that word, outline of biblical uses, I want to get into the the definition B. It said, uh, "It said in ethical sense of wickedness, etc." You know, in ethical sense. So let's go into the word. Well, we can go down just a little bit, right quick. It said, "Um, Strong's definition. Properly, something discussed immorally, as a noun in abhorrence, especially idolatry, or concretely an idol." Abominable custom thing, an abomination, you know, which goes against you. How about Shemiah was shy, you know, you know, which is a, a, a wicked act in the in the, in, the, in the sight of you. How about Shemiah was shy? So I want to go from there. I want to go to this word um, ethical. I'm going to go into the etamon, and it says um, this is the 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 root word ethic. It says, and I can get the, the whole word ethical too, you know, with the root word and the suffix. It says, um, 
uh, studies of morals, morals, it said from old French etiquette, ethics, moral philosophy, um, going down, it said ethical pertaining to character. It says moral character related to ethos, customs, customs, meaning moral principles of a person or group. Moral principles of a personal group. And how about Shemel Shai? What he do? He gave us the laws, commandments, and statutes. We're supposed to separate us from the laws. I mean, from these heathens. And the, uh, you know, it's supposed to separate us from these heathens, man. You know? It said, uh, moral principles of a person or group. So when we go back into the law. So like, let me, let me get this word ethical right quick. <clears throat> See what the, the, the suffix me hello directly from as uh, just of uh, uh, like like right all mean like or, per, or related to or pertaining to right so let me go here on this other this other screen and I want to get the word um let's see I think this is what I want <clears throat> you know what we can go Let's go here real quick. Let's go here. Let's go to the Google. Immoral in the Bible means it said immoral in the Bible means sin, sinful, wickedness, estrangement from the most high, empty, uh, impetuous, uh, imp, imp, um, impetuousness, unrighteousness by virtue of re lacking respect for. It says here, a God, but we already know we 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 give reverence to our power. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, you know. So let's see what this is. What is considered immoral? Um, <clears throat> it says, what is considered immoral? Immoral describes a personal behavior that uh, conscious conscientiously. However, whatever the word is, they say goes against accepted morals that is the proper ideals and beliefs about how to behave in a way that is considered right and good by the majority of the people. Immoral connotes the intent of evilness or wrongdoing and, and is a, a true uh, anonym of moral. OK, so. Okay, so this is what I want to get here. It said, um, flesh <clears throat> KJV. This is, um, oh, Leviticus. Leviticus, let's go to Leviticus 19. Leviticus chapter 19. Like I said, I want to make this short. Low will is not too long. But like I said, sh straight to the point. Leviticus 19 and um 20. 28. <clears throat> Yeah, straight to the point. Say, ye should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. Let's go into the word cutting. An incision, a cut. So we don't supposed to have any incisions. See, you know, like basically like going into tattoos and all, right? You should make no no cutters in your flesh. Tattoo, a tattoo, you get tattoos with needles. Needles, what they do, they cut, they cut into your flesh, man. You know? You know? T 
tattoos with needles cut into your flesh, right? See, and when you get that MOTB, it's just a it's a bigger needle, man, that they put under your flesh. It's just like with these tattoos, these this ink is not really on top of our flesh. It is in our uh what which call it a derma, which goes into the skin, right? Let's see. It's 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 inside of our skin. Let's see. Um tattoos go inside of your skin, man. Derma definition. He said, "Derma just means skin, you know, skin or a line, uh, a element of a specific, a specified type. It just means skin, right? So when you when you getting that the MOTB, it's a cutting into your flesh, you know. It pierces your it per, it pierces your skin, man. It cuts right into your flesh, man, which is an abominable act to you. How about you know?" This is Revelation. This is Revelation 19 <clears throat> and verse 20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which deceived them that had received the mark. Right? The MOTB. And them that worshiped his image. See, because you got, you have other, you have other groups outside, you have other groups outside of GMS that tell you, hey, that the, the MOTB is, is sin, you know? Sin is an immoral act, you know? And we all sin. So that means we all got the MOTB, right? But the scripture said here. It says, um, which deceived them that had received the mark of, of the, you know, and them that worship his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone, which is what? That's that's Babylon, the great, a.k.a. Egypt, Sodom. That's America on fire, man. On fire. Because you have Shemel Shai put it in the minds of these uh these other nations to shoot their missiles on this place, man. To burn her with fire, man. You know that, that whore that rides upon the beast. You know? So those who, who take this 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 filthy this, hey, those who commit this uh this wicked act of of placing or bow down to this beast or worship in this beast system, you will your punishment would be to be thrown into the lake of fire. Or to be, in other words, to be left why Yahabashim Shah gathered his elect out of this place by his chariot. You know? That's your punishment for your wicked act, your immoral behavior, because you you trusted in you trusted in the fucking beast, man. You trusted in the beast system. Again, going back to the to the first scripture, uh, uh, Proverbs. You know, I just want to get that definition again. Proverbs eight eight and seven. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. So for me, if for me to tell you that the MOTB is anything other than what it is, which is that that uh that 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 chip, that's perverseness, that's deception, that's that's an abomination to you. How about some y'all was shy, man? You know. Because going back into the word abomination, it is in an ethical sense of wickedness. It's wicked. It's wicked for one to tell you on both ends. It's wicked for one to tell you it's not 
what it truly is. And for you to follow that deception, man. You know, because both of those lots have a punishment. We say the blind lead the blind into the ditch. You know? You both you both have that you both will be punished. What it, the scriptures say in Ezekiel. You know, I get this low willing and close out. Ezekiel 3 and 17. It says, um, <clears throat> see, we're supposed to give you warning. Uh, I get it next. Son of man, you know what? I get it right now. I come right back to Ezekiel. Isaiah 58 and 1. It said, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. We're supposed to cry unto our people. Let our people know, hey. It said, show, sh let them know their transgression and their sins. And we're supposed to let our people know, if you get this ultimate sin, the ultimate sin, which is no coming back from, you can't repent after you take this sin, man. After you do this, after you commit this sin, you cannot repent. It said, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob, their sins. See, if you, if we're showing you right now, Jacob, we're showing you right now, if you get this if you if you take this um uh this this C hip, ain't no coming back from it, man. You're gonna be judged with America, man. You're gonna be judged with Babylon the Great. And we're crying out loud. And we giving you warning from who? We giving you warning. Going back to Ezekiel 3 and uh 17, we give you that warning from Almighty Himself. You know? Son of man, 3 and 17, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. We give you warning from you. How about some Yahweh Shai? And, and it goes on down. When, when you hear the word at the prophet, when you hear the word of a prophet and you take heed, that blood, hey, that for one, that blood, because the prophet speaketh out, you know, that blood is off the hands of that prophet because he warned you. But if you take not warning, your blood is on your own head, man. And those who deceive you, they have bloody hands. They got blood on their hands, man. You know? Those who told you it was something else other than what the truth is. Hey, they... They, hey, they, they, they are marked for... Uh, what the scriptures say? Mark them who cause division. Let me get this. See, they are marked for, they are marked for destruction that teaches, that teaches something other than... What the truth is, cause they're they're false prophets, man. You know, mark them that cause division. KJV. This is Romans. Romans sixteen and seventeen. <clears throat> and this word mark here it goes into another 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 uh, definition of mark. It said, "Now I, Romans sixteen and seventeen. Now I beseech you, brethren." Mark them that cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. You know, so we're supposed to be avoid you, man. And that word there for Mark, I think it's a uh, Scapio, if I'm not mistaken. Scopio. Scopio, which means to, to take heed to thyself, you know. To take heed. Suppose and avoid them. You gotta avoid them. Because hey, they, they teach you contrary to what what the Lord have said on the apostles, man. You know? But Lord willing that was edifying. But they want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Bashir Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Hey, a Bob Ball, Kwame Ashiralam. Shalom.